Hi guys, it's Monique from earlylearningmom.com and I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, basically if I taught Z phonics. And it's kind of a tough question because I taught Z to read when he was a really little baby. Um, we started the reading program when he was just, um, I want to say about two or three months old. He was really young. And I used, we weren't um, working directly with um, Doman International yet. I was following the Glenn Doman books and I was kind of, I was an active member of the Brill Kids Forum, which unfortunately I noticed the other day, it seems like it's down. There's so many memories in there and so much good information. I, KL from Brill Kids, if you're watching this, please save that forum because I was gonna go dig through there to get some information um, and it's all gone. So anyhow, that being said, that forum was amazing. There were parents of mostly typical children. There were some special needs in there too, but mostly typical that were using um, the Brill Kids software. They were using Tweedlewinks. They were using, um, there was all sorts of um, Wink, Wink to Learn, I believe it is. Wink to Learn English in different languages. Um, I'm still in touch with several of the parents that were, you know, big contributor, contributors. I can't talk today. I never can talk. Big contributors to this forum and their children are just absolutely amazing. I mean, my kids are awesome too. I'm not going to I'm not going to play that down, but like there are some pretty impressive children like the parents that took it all the way. Wow. So anyhow, there was mixed ideas about teaching just the whole word method like Glenn Doman did and, or teaching phonics and even Robert Titzer from um, teach how to teach what is it um, teach your baby to read why can't I remember the name of that DVD yeah I'm pretty sure it was teach your baby to read I'll have to look that up anyhow he landed up he believed that kids intuitively learned phonics if they were taught the whole word method before the age of two. That being said, I don't like putting all my eggs in one basket. So I did do some phonics with Z, but it was different. Like I feel he got most of his ability to read using the whole word method using the Glenn Doman method. That being said, I did pull out Hooked on Phonics with him. I did modify it. There's a video from years ago. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but it was use, I made using Hooked on Phonics with your baby. Now I use the old curriculum as well as the app. So when I had Z, uh, we did um, infant toilet training and when I had Z on the potty at like 12 months old, we would play on this app and it, we would practice our phonics. How much did he get from that? I don't know. He can read whole words. He can read, he can sound out some words, um, that, or he can sound out words. Like sometimes there's words I know he's never seen before and he sounds out and he gets pretty darn close. Um, is it necessary though? I don't know. I, I can only tell you my experience. And I think part of me, like I said before, has trouble putting all my eggs in one basket. And I don't think there's any harm in teaching phonics. However, I think you have to be really careful about it. Um, I did it really quickly. I mixed it in with other words. I used the app. Um, we used uh, preschool prep phonics uh, videos which you can see on YouTube, you can Google that and you should be able to find some examples of that. But was it necessary? I don't know. Um, but I don't see any harm in it as long as you're presenting it in a fun and exciting way and that you're not only using that because it will become boring. Like three-year-olds, they want three-year-olds, two-year-olds, one-year-olds, five-year-olds, they want big words. They want to learn how to read hippopotamus. They want to learn how to read, um, you know, Mississippi. They, they don't want to be sitting there in cat, sat, fat, 
rat. Yes, those words are important and to throw them in and to throw in a word family here and there is not going to hurt them. But I see so many parents saying, oh, my kid can't read. And all they're presenting are these simple words that look so much alike. And they're so boring. Like I actually got rid of the majority of my phonics readers because they are so boring. I didn't like reading them. Z didn't like reading them. And I would pull them out because I felt like that's what I needed to use to teach him. And it wasn't. It really wasn't. Um, it was a joy kill. And I think that's why so many kids, when they go into kindergarten, and grade one, they go into school thinking, I want to learn how to read. I want to learn how to read. And by the time they're done that reading process, they hate it. Um, so tread lightly. It's, it's okay to throw in some phonics. I really believe it is. Um, but I wouldn't suffocate your child with it. And I'd make sure you are incorporating, incorporating, see, I told you I can talk today, that you're incorporating um, a lot of fun words, words they want to learn. If they're into a particular character, it, you're putting um, the Paw Patrol kid, the uh, dogs, like, you know, you're putting in um, their names and, you know, characters that they might like on movies or their favorite foods or their favorite people, um, favorite animals. Make sure you're hitting all of those things that are going to make them realize, hey, cool, like these words mean something. When you put them together, it means something else. And, and make sure you're jumping into those homemade books because those are Z loves homemade books. Like he, he really doesn't care much about the individual words anymore. We use them more as vocabulary builders, but it's those homemade books that he cherishes. I'm so upset. I had a bunch stored in the garage and some squirrels got into them and wrecked them. So I have to reprint them out. So make sure you store your homemade books when you're done with them because you will pull them back out. Um, make sure you store them better than I did. I'm going to have, luckily I have them all on my computer so I can reprint them. It's just a pain in the butt, but, um, alarm yeah. went off on my phone and cut off this. Anyhow, what I was saying was it's okay to introduce phonics. Make sure you're doing it in a fun way. If they don't seem to like it back off, remember they're little phonics were designed to teach five, six, seven year olds how to read. It wasn't designed to teach one, two, three year olds to read. So consider that as well and um, it's okay to do the whole method program way you know introducing the whole word like Len Doman says and when your child's a bit older introducing some phonics concepts there too um, just to make sure that they have the if you feel that they need them um, I know one family that has two super bright girls. They're absolutely amazing. I love watching them on, on Facebook grow. But the eldest daughter caught on to phonics on her own. And the younger daughter, who is equally as smart, needed a little extra help with the phonics. And as soon as she was introduced to phonics, caught on to it immediately. So anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Be sure to subscribe, like, and check out my blog at www.earlylearningmom.com. Thanks for watching.